Grüezi YouTubers. Here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. Cycling is healthy and for many people also fun. When I cycle, I have also time to think. During one of my last rides, I had to fight a strong headwind. This is where I started to think about the different forces working against me during my rides. As many other cyclists, I use a speed meter and a heart rate monitor to track my performance. Let's make a small sketch about the situation. The cyclist has to overcome different forces which all work against him. He does this by inputting the needed force or power into his bike. The speedometer measures only one influencing factors for the external forces and the heart rate is just an indicator of the power inputted into the bike. We all know that it is delayed in time and influenced by factors like general condition or temperature. This is where my new project was born. To use modern sensors and microcontrollers to measure the power needed for a ride. There are basically two ways of measuring this power. You measure the actual input into the drive system of your bike or you measure the forces which work against you. As we saw before, they are always equal. To measure the input into the drive system, you can measure the force on the pedals and their angular velocity and calculate the actual power. Or you do the same thing inside the power drive itself, usually in the axle of the rear wheel. For this purpose, small sensors called strain gauges are used. The same sensors are used in all types of scales. This is the way many new power meters work. You can buy them from different suppliers. Unfortunately, they are quite expensive. To measure the forces which work against me is more fun because it helps to find out which is actually the strongest enemy. Is it the slope of the track? Is it the speed? Is it because I accelerate my pace? Or is it my worst enemy, a strong headwind? So the plan is to measure the actual speed using two different principles. The rotation of the front wheel using a hole sensor or a GPS sensor. To measure the slope with a barometer like a BMP085 or the newest sensor, the BME280. Maybe I will use also a gyro as an alternative. And for my worst enemy, I purchased an anemometer and I want to connect its sensor to my microcontroller. As a microcontroller, I chose a Maple Mini because it is very fast, can calculate with double precision and has many different I.O. possibilities. If you are interested in a speed comparison of this module with other modules like Arduinos or the ESP8266, you find it in one of my past videos. I post the link below in the comment. The results will be displayed on one or two small OLEDs and the device will be powered by a small LiPo battery. I plan to create one video for each sensor and at least one if I succeed to get everything together. So subscribe the channel and you are informed about the next episodes. But now I have to run. The summer in Switzerland does not last forever and testing this device in cold or rain is no fun. Bye.